This is an updated video after my previous one on how to install Google Play services on Graphene OS. The process is much simpler now. You have two options to install Google Play services on your device. The first is on the owner profile, which is the profile created by default, and the second is on a completely separate profile. As with every choice we make in life, each option has its own pros and cons. The pro to installing on a completely separate profile is that you can control which apps have access to those Google Play services. The con is that if you do want to use those apps or see notifications from those apps, then you need to switch to that profile. They won't show on your main owner profile. Some users find this inconvenient. If that's you, then I would suggest installing on the main owner profile. I don't use Google Play services on my personal device, but if I did, I would install them on a separate profile. But again, that choice is up to you. My advice would be to start with the separate profile method. And if you don't like it, you can switch to installing them on the owner profile. I'll also have a troubleshooting section at the end of the video for a commonly reported problem. If you don't want to create a separate profile or you already know how to, you can go ahead and skip this part of the video. The timestamps will be in the video play bar. So to create a separate profile, we're going to swipe up on our phone, go into settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, select system. We're going to tap on multiple users and we're going to enable use multiple users. As I mentioned in the intro, we can see here we have the default profile of owner. So now we're going to go ahead and click add user. Just a quick disclaimer about adding a new user. Go ahead and read that over. Click OK. Go ahead and name your new user, whatever you want. Once you have, go ahead and click OK. So this screen just gives us some options related to the new user. I'm just going to leave them the default and continue on. So there's two ways to switch to the new user profile. The first is by selecting switch to new user on this screen, but this way is pretty inconvenient to get back to once you're out of the settings menu. The second way from whatever screen you're on, just pull down, pull down again. And now on the bottom left, you see this blue user icon. Go ahead and select that. And you now have a screen that lets you switch users, add new ones and various other settings. To me, this way is much more convenient and a lot quicker than going through the settings menu. So whether you're on your owner profile or a new profile you created, the following install process will be exactly the same. So just to prove that it works, I installed Google Camera and Google Maps using the Aurora Store. As we can see, camera won't even open. And for Google Maps, we're unable to use the navigation feature of Google Maps, which is kind of the whole point of it, without Google Play services installed because the app cannot get our current location. So as I mentioned earlier, the Google Play services install is much easier now on Graphene OS. So to do that, we're going to swipe up and go into apps. If you do have Graphene OS installed on your phone, then you will have this app available. It comes bundled with the OS. So there are a few different components available to install. We have a Google services framework, Google Play Store, and Google Play Services. I would suggest starting with only installing Google Services Framework and then testing the app you want to use to see if it works. The reason I recommend starting with Framework is that it's the only one that can be installed on its own. Google Play Services depends on Google Services Framework and Google Play Store depends on Services Framework and Play Services. It's my preference to always install the least amount of extra software needed, especially when it comes to anything Google related. So as I suggested, we're going to start by installing Google Services Framework, and the install is as simple as just selecting install. Installing, downloading, and just like that, Google Services Framework has been installed. And then as I showed earlier with Google Camera, it didn't want to open at all. And now if we go in there, select it, we can now see that it opens with only Framework installed. In the case of Google Maps, we do need to install Play Services as that's required for Google Maps to get your device's current location. So if we go back to apps, we're gonna tap install on Google Play services. Give that a minute to download and install. Once that finishes, let's go check out Google Maps one more time. So I actually ended up having to reinstall Google Maps, as you just saw from the behavior of it just kept closing. I think that's probably something related to installing the services and then trying to use the app again. It tried to read them, some strange behavior or weird loop that it caused. So if you do have any issues with apps after installing those Google services, just try reinstalling the apps and see if that fixes the issue for you. So now if we go back into Maps again, I'm not going to sign in. 
Let's try and go somewhere again. And now if we select your location, so I'm blurring this out so the creepy individual watching this cannot find where I live. But as you can see from this, it was able to calculate the route using our current location. The last app available to install in here is Play Store. I would suggest only installing that if you really need it. Otherwise, just use Aurora Store and install any Google apps you need from there. And if after you install these services, you find out you want to remove them, you just select the one you want to remove, click the three vertical dots in the upper right hand corner, press uninstall, and it's uninstalled. Just to reiterate, if you do choose to install Google Play services on a separate profile, only apps installed on that specific profile will be able to use Google Play services. And if you're wondering why you don't see notifications for an app you have installed on another profile, at the time of this recording, notifications only appear on profiles the apps are installed on, but it does look like that will change in the future with cross-profile notifications. So if you go to install Google Play services and you see a warning like this, it's likely that you've installed the Gcam services provider in the past. In order to work, Gcam services provider reuses the GSF app ID, causing this error. Once you remove Gcam services provider, you should be able to proceed with the install. To remove it, it's as simple as going into settings, apps, see all apps, scroll down to you see Gcam services provider, select uninstall, click OK. Now if we swipe up and go back to apps, we can retry the Google services framework. And we can see that this time it was successfully installed.